I got dressed up today just because I felt like it and I'm going to stop by an event later but um, I wanted to get dressed up and I don't really ever do my hair so um, I hope you like it. It's kind of like a wedding dress though so I think it, it might be a little much for this party but you know in LA or New York or wherever, and, eh, wherever, just wear what you want. Okay so what I did, there's Gracie. to create the initial, if you can hear Gracie, it's because she's in the back, I'm sorry. Um, so what I did to create the initial is, there's many ways to do this, I got bought a pre-made W, they sell this at craft stores, I got this at Michael's, and then I took the floral foam and I soaked it. You want to make sure that it's soaked all the way through or else there's those dry pockets and that means that the flowers aren't going to drink water, so really check on, check on that. Then what I did is, normally I would use the thick green bowl tape, but I didn't have that on me, so I just grabbed the clear base tape that we used to make a grid, and I went around and around and around. So, that is the result. And I made this yesterday because I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, I didn't have time. So all I did today, because it felt a little dry to the touch, is I just uh, put it under the faucet and made it wet again. So I would say that when you're giving this, just put your finger in it and make sure that it's still wet. So today, these are the flowers that we're using. I have the mini green hydrangea. Now what's nice about these is these are the baby forms of the other colors. And it's cool because they're firmer to the touch. They last super long in heat and they're just long lasting in general, whereas we all know about other hydrangeas. So this is good. Um, but you know, you have to want to use a specific Kelly green color, which is what I always say. And then I have acacia and some baby eucalyptus over here. I wanted it to kind of have a spa relaxing smell. And then we have some delphinium. Now, this has been annoying me all day because it keeps falling the petals and I want it fresh. So I'm not sure if it's just hot or maybe it was older and they didn't tell me. Uh, shaking it, you can see. So we're gonna cut it short when we put it in and hopefully it will be fine. At the end, I'm gonna use a preservative and put it in the fridge until I see Callie tomorrow. So let's get started. I also have some moss. This is a variety pack moss, and it has reindeer moss and moon moss. So I'm going to add this in after. Normally I would add it in using wire. I might grab some from the garage. Okay, let's get started on this. to set earlier. So sad. I don't know where the summer went. Okay, I'm breaking off the pieces of acacia. I'm just breaking it into a few inches and removing the bottom part like rosemary. This is a little bit tougher so you really have to use some muscle uh, to fill in some of these blanks. Now I wish there wasn't that white styrofoam showing. Maybe I can cut it. What I'm going to do is fill in those surrounding holes with the moss and wire. This is why I always say in your stock pantry, you should always have moss and wire because you can MacGyver it. Um, so I have the paddle wire and then I have this really thick, I think it's like an 18 gauge straight wire. It's easier to use straight wire for hairpins, which is simply, Cutting a piece off, oops, and then bending it as such as a little hairpin. And then I just take some moss and I secure it like that. So let me see just how it goes with this thin wire. It's actually not, I wonder what gauge this is. 
22, okay. So it's lighter and I mean it's just not as straight, but I think it'll still go in. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add, this is dyed green Spanish moss. It's a pain because it's dyed, so it kind of gets on your hands, but you know, for the sake of our art. Okay, so let me just start. I'm gonna have to duck and kind of go from here. Oh, this does a good job of covering the styrofoam. Moss does it again. It's done. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. I think it took an hour and. I'm always like, oh, it'll take 20 minutes. No, but the moss worked like a gem. I know it's really hard to see here, so I'm going to go take a really nice photo, and I'll, well, now you'll see it. I'm putting it in the video, and this is so cute. I hope she loves it. Congrats, Callie. I love you.